So, the warmongers are being loud again. And uh, in this particular case, uh, I just thought I'd go over uh, something that, uh, <laughs> that should maybe hopefully convince some people not to enlist. But to get it started, you know, I'll just remind people that the elites for months now have been trying to justify a world war, uh, saying that it's totally fine to taunt a nuclear power. Just like the, the last, um, <laughs> the last, uh, video I did, which was on the Ukrainian, uh, situation, uh, and, and the fact that even saying, uh, Russia's a nuclear power and maybe we should take conflict with them seriously, um, will get you added to a Ukrainian government, uh, list. Um, at least, you know, if you're high profile enough. I don't know if their list extends to commoners, but, uh, it would be fucking hilarious if they basically just built a watch list. Um, but with that in mind, um... Whenever they ramp up one of these wars, they need soldiers, obviously. Um, and if they plan to, you know, escalate this at all, you know, or put U.S. boots on the ground, they're gonna need uh, they're gonna need people who volunteer. You know, they're they're not gonna be able to justify a draft at least at first. So, you know. You'd have to offer somebody uh, some fucking pretty stiff benefits, right? Well, then now seems like the perfect time to bring up the PACT Act. Which basically is a bill designed to uh, get military personnel affected by... Uh, garbage burning pits, burn pits, um, get them the, like, the, the uh, health care they need, and, and the compensation they, they need for the, you know, amount of health damage that they endured while they were breathing in toxic fumes, because there were no dump runs, uh, for a significant amount of these people. Um, and there were no, like, um, there were no municipal services. So what they would do is they would just go and dig a pit and burn it in that pit. And the fact that, like, a huge amount of them would just, like, be downwind of it, the fact that the, uh, the whole place fucking stank because it was full of toxic fumes, that's less than relevant. Um, because the, the, only just now has there been any action at all on getting people compensated for it. Getting people, you know, uh, compensated for having uh, a fucking uh, huge amount of toxic fumes pumped into their body. Um, and John Stewart put it well. Uh, because basically, uh, it passed the House, and then Senate Republicans blocked it. Um, and, and he says, um, Senator Toomey has blocked it, and now he wants to introduce amendments completely rewriting the way that it's paid for out of some false and very convenient fiscal concern that he never had for the defense budget or for the wars that created the toxic exposure difficulties in the first place. And once again, it's the same old story. Always money for war, always want to balance the budget on the backs of sick veterans. And now it's even more despicable because having passed the act, giving great hope to the families of the wounded veterans and their caregivers that are suffering from this without the health care and benefits that they've earned, it's being held up once more. That's John Stewart, just to remind you. Um, now, <laughs> I, I mean to bring this up just to tell you that they don't give a fuck about you. Um, they don't even really give a fuck about the Ukrainians. 
Because if they did, then the Ukrainians would be going in with better equipment, you know, better training. Uh, they, they'd be they, they'd be going in with some sort of like actual, you know, backup and knowledgeable leadership. They wouldn't just be going to the front lines and then realizing, hey, this shit fucking sucks. We're woefully under-equipped. We don't have jack shit we need. Um, and, you know, turn coding. There's literally a unit of Russians now made up of ex-Ukrainians. That should really tell you everything. They've got the backing of the world, allegedly. So why are people turning coat? It can't be because Russia's fucking awesome. Because they're not. <laughs> nope. Uh, the Russian government has been hugely responsible for um, for uh, corruption, you know, lies, murder, poisoning people. Um, and and you if if you piss off the Russian government, you're you're liable to go to a gulag. So it's not the best thing. Yet they've got people joining. Because the Ukrainian, like, treatment is being, like, that poorly handled. Um, and I just, you know, it connects. Because the, the, the West and, you know, powers connected, basically the, the, they put off this big front of having the best military. And the best, the best, the best, the best. U USA is greatest nation on planet, and if you disagree, you're a traitor. That sort of thing. Um, and then when it comes down to it, when it comes down to actually properly uh, dealing with the troops that they create, that act as their uh, jackbooted foot soldiers through the entire world, um, they don't want to. And it takes a really long time to get any sort of treatment for anything. Whether that be Gulf War Syndrome, uh, the <laughs> the medical treatment needed for, like, Agent Orange from Vietnam, um, the, the fucking burn pits now. Like, I could keep listing things, too. Like, the U.S. government does not give a fuck about you even if you're the reason they keep on getting profit and power. Um, so if you're, con if you're considering enlisting, if you're considering signing up, I really hope you don't. Especially given the fact that your enlistment and sign up will almost certainly be uh, in order to boost one of the many like fucking terrible conflicts the U.S. shouldn't be involved in. You know, fucking, how much of Syria are they occupying? Uh, how, how much material support are they offering to Saudi Arabia for their, for their, like, brutal genocide in Yemen? How much are they giving to, like, uh, materially support Ukraine? And how long until that's boots on the ground? Like, I, the, the war machine should be active if defense is necessary but it's not it it never really is um defense isn't the goal it's not the department of defense what it is is it's the department of uh, strategic offense where they'll go and uh make themselves strategically useful in a given area um, so that they can then uh, throw a bunch of money at the military industrial complex to get a bunch of weapons and vehicles and surveillance technology and a bunch of other shit built there. It's a solution in search of a problem. And it's, it's a massive... Uh, problem that, uh, that, that, that gets created by doing so, you know, and it needs to stop. 
And it can't stop if they keep on getting more and more fodder. That's why you need to resist the recruiters in your school if you're in high school. You know? It's why you it's why you need to resist the uh the the recruiters like that got storefronts set up in your town. It's why even though we're in significant economic downturn, it's still not the time to go sign up. Not if you want to be treated well. Not if you want to be treated like a human fucking being. And 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 I'm just it sucks how much manpower goes to defending a corrupt gang of truly evil people who in the end will block funding for bills just to get people basic health care. Um, when those boots could be here for actual defense and boosting the anarchist effort. Because, you know, people are always wondering who would do X, Y, and Z. Well, if it needed to be done, probably the same kind of people who would do it in any society. And if it doesn't need to be done, then why is it being done? And how can the, the money and resources and lives being spent on it be justified? You know... And with the, the, the new conflict ramping itself up, it's just worth remembering that these wars are for profit. They're not for solving anything. They're not for uh, making sure that the ethical parties prevail. They're for profit and power. And strengthening the global hegemony. That's it. Including the war which the soldiers who would be beneficiaries of the Pact Act were fighting in. That war too. All of them. That's the reason they don't give a fuck about these soldiers because they're expendable and interchangeable units. It's a giant game to these people. And I just hope that if anyone sees this who might be considering getting involved, you just remember that you don't want to be a part of their game. Because eventually they're going to throw your piece out, just like any of these others, and it'll be easy. Just something to think about.